we've lost every strip of furniture, every couch, everything. I've never been through this and I don't wish it on anybody. Maybe like this, it should be in the rain and cold. And everybody's lost so much and it still keeps continuing to rain. I have never experienced anything like this. I I didn't even imagine that it was going to be this catastrophic like this. So it was a very weird experience that Monday because you know, it was still raining. Um, we knew the waters had started to recite, you know, to, to go down a little bit. But Dean Gladden and I and Catherine McNeil and then Tenike Swackhammer from the alley headed downtown um, and we got down to the Wortham, went to the alley theater first because Dean had keys. Didn't know whether we'd be able to get into the Wortham, but we met Vivian Montejano at the front door um, and you know, it was still the sort of very, it was, the foyer was still wet and there was a, some some dirt on the floor from where the where the water had receded, um, and Vivian was there with a couple of engineers from TDI, and said, uh, "Hey, Perrin, it's not very good." And I was like, "No, I, I gathered it probably was." And I saw saw some photos yesterday of how high the water was outside the building. And she said, "You know, I can't let you go into the building, can't, don't you?" And I said, "Yeah, I know you can't let me go in," and walked past her and. The two TDI guys were like, are you going in? And I said, oh yeah, I'm going in. And they said, okay, we're coming with you. So we, we, we went into the building at that point and, and started to find out what had happened and, and how bad the, the damage was, especially in the basement and, and you know, in the, that very part of the foyer spaces which had got wet. Uh, but it was, you know, it was, it was a real eye opener. I mean, it was, you know, we, we knew water had got in somewhere, but no idea at that point how much. The power of the storm, uh, the devastation of the storm, um, you know, just kind of a, um, I mean, I felt a little bit hopeless of, you know, is this ever going to come back? And then just, it just felt like such a, um, like you'd been through a war, not that I've ever been through a war, but kind of felt like you'd been through a war and you were walking through the devastation of what was left and yeah, it felt hopeless. My home home was also damaged and so it was about the time when we were figuring out what the damage was to our home that I got the first word that the Wortham was damaged and then both of my worlds were rocked. We all sort of live by show, you know, it's all about the next performance. And even directly after the storm, the, our company moved so quickly and they got us back rehearsing and they were looking for venues and um, as soon as we were in the studio, we were rehearsing but we still didn't quite know for what, you know, and, and, and as I think as any performer will tell you, if you don't have a goal, if you don't have that date set you feel a little bit lost and really unsure what it's all about, you know. Um, fortunately, our company moved really fast and we were able to secure, secure venues all over town. And we did our, our hometown tour, which um, we tried to make the best of. But, you know, every show was a reminder of how much we missed our home. So we started looking at, you know, what are the theaters left standing? So Wortham's out, Jones is out for, you know, a while, but then also, you know, Jones has the symphony and an SPA going back in. So we started looking for any available performing space in town where they might have windows of dates. And we just, we just started beating down the doors of every single uh, theater around to, to find out what's possible. We had a big meeting in which the, the GLB plan was sort of discussed. Um, I think several people left that meeting thinking that I was on some sort of medication. Um, but we, you know, we, we laid that plan out pretty early on and said, this is what we're going to do. 
Um, the, the Houston First and the George R. Brown were amazing in just responding to that and saying, well, we've got these five different events before Christmas that we can't really move. Then that became four, then that became three, and eventually we were there till Christmas. And that was, at that point, all that we were being offered was till Christmas. You know, and we'll be back in the we'll be back in the Wortham by that point. And then, of course, you know, as you as you start to discover the damage at the Wortham, you realise that's not going to happen, um, and therefore you just keep moving forward. You know, it's one step at a time. And there are you know there are days in which you step three steps forward, and you're like, this is a great day. And then the next day you'd be like, really, two punches in the gut. I'll take a step back. People are they want to get back and. Um a sense of normalcy and all those things that we take for granted on a daily basis with our events. You know, I, ha I had a conversation with someone on our team not long ago and said, you know, you got to be careful what you ask for because when we get into routines and we may feel a little bit of boredom or here we go again another day and then when it's all taken away from you and then you really just want that routine back again. And um, we kind of laughed about that and said, yeah, got to be careful what you ask for. And we're happy to have that normalcy back again in the routine. It's just second nature, the, the space, the smell, the, the feeling. Um, and I think we kind of didn't realize how great we had it until we didn't have the word them. Um, it's, I think it stands apart in the amount of space that that theater has. To get back to our base and, and back to, you know, this uh, mecca of art, you know, that is so important where these major companies live, um, I think will be important for us to get back to putting on as many shows as we normally do. It's, it's, a, it's a, something I'm really proud of as, as a Houstonian of you know, now in 12 years, is that we've been able to just go, you know what, we're not going to let this thing kick us. We're going to get up, we're going to stand, and we're going to say this is important to us as a city, this is who we are as a city, and that's what we're going to move forward as, one united city. From everyone at Houston First, welcome home. Welcome home. I can't tell you how thrilled we are to be back at the Wortham. It's going to be amazing. Welcome home. Welcome home from the Alley Theater. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home.